Hey, what's up everyone? This is Julie Reynolds, AKA Nurse Jar. In this training video, I'll be demonstrating how to perform the 2022 Prometric Testable Skill provides foot care on one foot for a resident who's sitting in a chair. Now this skill is performed on a live person, but for training purposes, I'll be performing this skill on a mannequin. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Jones. My name is Julie, I'm your CNA, and today I'll be providing you with foot care on one foot, okay? Are you doing all right today? Awesome. Before I get started, I'm just gonna make sure your bed is in a low safe position, and it is. Your bed wheels are locked. I'm going to provide you with privacy by closing your privacy curtain. Here's your call light, Mrs. Jones. I'm just going to place it in your hand. Just press that button if you need me for anything, okay? Is there anything else I can do for you before I go wash my hands and gather my supplies? All right, Mrs. Jones washing hands. Now, the first supply item that I'm going to collect is going to be a clean barrier. Now, for your clean barrier, you can either use a chucks pad or a towel. It is preferred to use a towel because usually when the chucks gets wet, um, it sticks, right? So that person's feet, foot, excuse me, may stick to that chucks pad. So again, for this skill, it is preferred to use a towel as the clean barrier. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I have a towel here. I'm just gonna place on the floor so we can use this as a clean barrier, okay? Okay, so the other supply items that I collected was another towel, and this is to dry the foot. I also collected one pair of gloves, two washcloths, one to wash the foot and one to rinse the foot, soap, and lotion. And all you have to do is place your supply items on the ground, I mean, on the clean barrier, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna go fill the basin with water and I'll be right back. Now for this skill, you'll wanna make sure that you fill the basin with enough water so when you submerge their foot into the basin, the water is covering their foot. I'm testing the water. Okay, so what I did, I actually tested the water while I was filling the basin. If you test the water at the sink, please make sure you verbalize and verbalize loud that you are doing so. Or you can wait till you get back to the bedside to test the water. Again, you can test with the finger, with your wrist, or with your elbow. Hi, Mrs. Jones, it's me, Julie, your CNA. I'm back with the basin of water. 
I'm just gonna place it down here on the clean barrier, okay? One important thing when it comes to infection control, you wanna make sure that if you kneel on the floor, or, or excuse me, if you kneel while you're performing this skill, you don't want to kneel on the bare floor, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have enough clean barrier to where your knees will be on the clean barrier and not on the floor. You don't wanna sit down, right? You don't wanna sit down like this on the bare floor while you're uh, performing this skill, okay? This is an infection control measure and you may get a flag for infection control. So you can either squat, or kneel, but again, when you kneel, make sure that your knees are on the clean barrier. So the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the person's shoe and sock. Now, because I'm performing this skill on the mannequin, all I could get on her was a sock. But for the real person, you'll need to remove their shoes and their sock, okay? Now, if you feel comfortable doing it ungloved, that's fine. You do not have to put your gloves on until you are ready to wash the person's foot, okay? But if you want to put gloves on before you remove the shoe and sock, that's fine, okay? Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and remove your sock from your left foot, okay? Again, when you lift the foot, you want to make sure that you support underneath the ankle joint. Okay, and I'm going to place it here. And then I'm just going to scoot this barrier and move the pan. And I'm now I'm going to place your foot in the uh, basin, okay? And make sure the foot is, or the water is covering the foot. Okay, Mrs. Jones, what I'm doing right now is putting on my gloves. And I'm going to move my items over here. Now, while the person's foot is soaking, I'm going to go ahead and kneel down on my clean barrier. While the person's foot is soaking, this is when you need to prep your first washcloth, okay? You're gonna wet it, squeeze it out, and apply soap uh, to all areas of the washcloth. You wanna do this before you lift the person's foot from the basin, because once you lift their foot from the basin, you are not allowed to place that foot back into the basin, okay? So I'm gonna take my first washcloth, I'm going to wet it, squeeze it out, I'm going to open it, apply soap, and then I'm going to make sure I get soap all over the washcloth just by rubbing it together. Then I'm going to fold it back into fours, okay? And now I can start washing the person's foot. Again, when you lift the foot up out of the water, you need to make sure that you maintain support behind the ankle joint. Mrs. Jones, I'm getting ready to lift your foot out of the basin, okay? And I'm just gonna scoot the basin over so your foot can uh, remain over the basin, okay? So you wanna make sure the person's foot remains over the basin while you're washing. So I'm washing the top of the foot, the heel and the sole, and then, you need to clean or wash in between each individual toe and also verbalize, I'm washing in between the toes. All right, Mrs. Jones. Okay, now while still maintaining support of the foot behind the ankle joint, you see where my hand is, it's behind the ankle joint. I'm going to get my second washcloth. It's already folded into quads. I'm going to wet it, squeeze it out, and in the same manner that I wash the foot, I'm going to rinse it. And I'm going to rinse in between the toes. 
Now I'm going to hang the second washcloth on the basin. At this time, I'm going to move the basin to the side and place the resident's foot on the clean barrier. Now I can work with both hands. So now what I'm doing is drying the foot. Mrs. Jones, I'm just drying your foot. Remember, support underneath the ankle joint whenever you lift the foot up from the floor. Okay. And I'm going to dry in between your toes. Okay. You doing okay? Awesome. Now I'm going to apply lotion to my gloved hand. I'm going to rub the lotion together between my hands to get it warm. And then I'm going to apply the lotion on the top of the foot and the bottom, but do not apply lotion between the person's toes. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna lift your foot so I can apply lotion on the bottom, okay? Of your foot, there we go. And now I'm placing applying lotion on the top of your foot. I am not applying lotion between your toes. Now I'm gonna take the same towel that I used to dry the foot to remove any excess lotion. Again, I'm maintaining support of the foot behind the ankle joint. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm just gonna set your foot down. There we go. All right, before you walk away, make sure that you replace the person's sock and shoe. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna go ahead and put your sock back on, okay? Just supporting your foot behind the ankle joint. There we go, I'm gonna put your foot back down. All right, you doing okay? Awesome. All right guys, so now at this time, I'm going to dispose of my soiled linen into the waste hamper. I'm going to carry it at arm's length so it will not come into contact with my clothing. Dispose of it into the soiled linen hamper. The next thing that I'm going to do is empty, rinse, and dry my bath basin. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and um, rinse, empty, rinse, and dry my bath basin, and then I'll be back, okay? You still have your call light in your hand, so if you need me for anything before I get back, just push that button, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones. So now let's go empty the basin. We're going to rinse it and dry it. So I'm emptying the basin in the sink. I'm rinsing the basin. And now I'm drying the basin. Then I'm going to dispose of my paper towel into the waste bin. Okay. I'm going to replace the lotion and the soap, and I'm going to store uh, the basin, lotion, and soap back inside the bedside stand. The last thing that I'm going to collect and dispose of is going to be the clean barrier. Mrs. Jones, I'm just removing the clean barrier, okay? And disposing of it. After I've disposed of all of my supplies and restored uh, the reusable supplies, 
I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself. Dispose of them. Immediately verbalize washing hands. And now I can close out this scale. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm all done uh, performing foot care on your foot. How does it feel? Awesome. Is there anything else I can do for you before I leave? All right, Mrs. Jones, you have a good day, okay? You still have your call light in your hand. Your bed is still in a low safe position. Bed wheels are locked. You still have your privacy maintained. Would you like for me to open your privacy curtain or keep it closed? Okay. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'll open it up so you can see. Okay, Mrs. Jones, if uh, you don't need me uh, for anything else, you have a good day, okay? All right. Now I will verbalize washing hands. I'm going to wait a few seconds before I say skill complete, just to go back through my mind all the steps that I perform to make sure that I perform them correctly um, and also to ensure that I did not omit any steps. When I feel confident about my performance, I will then state washing hands, skill complete. 